couple more items here for the tool bag. I only have these three at the moment, so I'm just going to record this segment. Uh, there's more coming, but uh, so I'll put them all into one video. So uh, I'll do these for now so I can put them away in their respective locations. Uh, but this is just like a power scraper attachment uh, for Sawzall or uh, more, more appropriately the little hacksaw like the one I have. And that guy there. I uh, just see, I saw one of these. I don't remember if I saw it actually at Home Depot or on online somewhere, but uh, that's uh, that's what it is basically. So uh, it's just a basically a power putty knife. So uh, it seemed like it'd be pretty useful. It was not very expensive. It was only about uh, ten or twelve bucks or something like that. So it seemed worthwhile. Seems like it'll hold up pretty good. Uh, and then I also I think I was telling you about these when I got the other security bits. This is kind of the variety pack or whatever so there's gonna be some duplicates that I'll just put in my bit stash but then uh, like this spanner right here those always seem to break so it's a good idea to have an impact resistant one there and uh, I got a couple of kind of oddball I forgot what they call those some kind of clutch uh, yeah, it's this that shape there so well uh, it is a clutch yeah clutch or something like that I forget what they call it exactly but anyways and then uh, this a uh, pocket screwdriver stuck out at me as a uh, Klein Tools product, and uh, it's a three-in-one multi uh, bit. So it has the Schrader remover, and then your thermostat screwdriver, and a, uh, whatever that is, number zero Phillips on the other side. It's got two different lengths of shafts, and whatever's on the shorter length, you can slide this little um, collar down and cover the tip. So presumably if you had it on the other one, it'd be pointier. You can so it doesn't poke a hole in your pocket. So I thought that was kind of cool. So again, just a couple little minor items, but I'll uh, add the rest of the tools to update and uh, uh, you'll see it with those. All right, had another item that uh, came through on the tool order here. Uh, this is the Klein 6-in-1 power bit driver, I think they call it. Uh, let's see, got the part number here somewhere. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure if it shows up on the camera, but it's 32606. Um, so, anyways, like I said, it's six in one. Uh, you have your basic quarter inch magnetic bit holder there, and of course, a, a quarter inch nut driver. Um, as you know, a lot of drivers, the, the just because it's a quarter inch bit does not really make it a very good quarter inch nut driver. You know, the bit the bit holder I mean. So uh, obviously this one is is designed to be a nut driver as well as a bit holder. So uh, like I said the quarter inch side is magnetic. Uh, this five sixteenth side over here that has a flip bit with the number two square and a three sixteenth flat. So that's kind of the, you know, they kind of give you the basic uh, bits you're going to need there most of the time. And then you have the option to put whatever quarter inch bit you like in there. Um, and so, yeah, and then you get this. So you got a quarter inch, five sixteenths, uh, Phillips head there, uh, number two. And then the two, uh, the square and the and the flat head on this end. So that's, uh, that's five. And then the... Uh, the, the sixth part of the six and one is this holder, which is a nine sixteenths uh, kind of deep socket, basically. So again, it kind of covers some pretty common sizes you'll be using. Um, you know, obviously three eighths, uh, three eighths nuts, you know, and hardware and stuff like that will be nine sixteenths. So um, it's a little on the bulky side, I would say, kind of heavy for you know. Obviously, it's going to be heavier and bulkier than a regular bit holder, but I think it should be manageable still. Um, you know, I, I only have the, as far as uh, cordless drills that I use, I, I just have the M, that M12 um, drill driver. So it might be a little bit big and clunky for that, um, but would work nicely on a, on a full-size cordless drill, like one of the M18 uh, models or something like that. So, um, yeah, anyways, it just it was kind of a cool item and wasn't wasn't very expensive, and it was just kind of the, something I saw on my long-term list of things to get, so... I'll definitely try it out, uh, see how I like it. Maybe uh, it's uh, probably not going to be an everyday uh, item, but maybe uh, something I would take uh, for a specific job uh, where I wanted to not uh, you know, just kind of take this and nothing else, not take the whole bit kit. So 
Um, anyways, just thought I'd like to show you guys that. Maybe it's uh, something that would uh, work out good for you too or whatever. So um, until the, uh, the next part here. Hey guys, we got the next uh, batch of tools here from H from Home Depot actually. Right, we'll focus on the camera there. Uh, so we'll start it art off with the uh, kind of low low budget item here, the small item uh, is the cable saw for cutting PVC pipe. Uh, sometimes, uh, especially when it's down in a ditch, there's maybe a situation where you could even use your uh, your regular ratcheting cutters, but you don't want to get them all uh, down in the mud or whatever. So. And, and then other times you just can't get on it with the ratcheting and you really need one of these. So uh, just a uh, good thing to have. I used to have one, lost it at some point. Uh, so I figured I'd buy another one before I need it. I just keep that in my plumbing bag. Um, another thing for the plumbing bag is this uh, rigid one-stop wrench. Uh, I've seen this for a while and kind of said, oh, well, that's silly. What do you need that for? Uh, then I kind of got to looking at it a little bit closer, and it really uh, is the... Um, really is the hookup for doing kind of all your uh, anything to do with uh, replacing angle stops and supply lines and things things like that shower heads um, it, it really is a pretty convenient little wrench it's got all the uh, all the sizes you need for the uh, for the supply lines that's like the half inch FIP connection that's like the 3 8 connection there um, I forget what the 5 8 fits I'm sure it'll be on here somewhere but it's uh, yeah maybe that's the Maybe that's the supply line size. I don't know, but anyways, it uh, it really covers all the bases for um, it said for for dealing with angle stops and installing sinks and stuff like that. So it's pretty lightweight. It's like uh, magnesium or something, I think. So uh, I figured it'd be worthwhile keeping it in the tool bag and kind of make life a little bit easier. So I'll put that in the plumbing bag too. And then here I got the uh, uh, Husky gear wrench set. Uh, nothing fancy. You just got ten sizes of. Uh, Ten sizes of each. They're the non-flexible, non-switchable heads, um, which is kind of what I want. Uh, I think for most of the time, the flex head does come in handy sometimes, but it makes it a lot less strong too. Um, I never did like the the flip, like the ratchet, like the style you have on a ratchet. I never liked that idea. It's, it's a wrench. You just flip it over. You know, what I mean? why add another mechanism to break? So um, I have a a fairly complete set, although it doesn't have. I think I, it's it covers. I don't think it goes down a quarter inch. So the set I have goes only from here to here, five sixteenths to three quarter. And I wanted to have metric gear wrenches too. So I was trying to find just again a similar size set of metric, but I just uh, they had this was such a good deal at Home Depot. I just decided to do both, and I'll put my standard set of gear wrenches uh, somewhere else. Maybe leave them in the in the truck tool bag or something, uh, just for you know. Uh, for the emergency road kite side kit or whatever, and I'll just put this this full complete set in with my uh, uh, my regular everyday tools. So uh, that's what I got for now. We've definitely got some more things coming down the pipeline. So uh, this this video should be a pretty uh, pretty well stocked with uh, tools here. So thanks for watching. All right, had a couple more items here that uh, just came in. Actually, I uh, didn't even get the just got the wrenches unpacked and. Uh, had a couple more packages dropped off, so um, this was all the stuff that came from uh, eBay, I guess, you know, USPS, so uh, this stuff all came directly from Home Depot, and then this got dropped off with the mail, so uh, as I pointed out with the close quarters tubing cutter there, um, they left uh, some kind of blank space in the case there, and I couldn't, I guess I just, uh, my OCD wouldn't let that, let that happen, uh, just kidding, um, <laughs> but I just figured it would be a good idea. I, I really do like using these reaming pencils. That's my favorite way to deburr stuff. Um, so I figured it couldn't hurt to have an extra one. Uh, it was only about nine or ten bucks or something. So uh, I figured it wouldn't be. A, it has it's just a good place to keep it back up. And then these I was definitely gonna get the uh, the replacement wheels for that for the close quarter set. So now my close quarters tubing cutter set is complete there. Um, I picked up this multimeter. Uh, I was actually looking for, I was looking one for one for a buddy of mine uh, who is kind of getting into some technical stuff. He's actually a, a pool guy, uh, the guy I've been working on the solar project that I have not posted yet. But uh, um, yeah, he's been, just been a business partner of mine and is uh, wanting to get into some of the more technical ends of things. And I think he has a multimeter. Uh, but this one has some of the HVAC functions on it, 
Uh, it was a really good price and seemed to be pretty good quality. Um, so, yeah, uh, it does capacitance and temperature and stuff like that. It's kind of an interesting way of doing the temperature. It's not a K-type thermocouple. It's uh, just plugs into banana jacks, I guess. So, uh, And there's a current clamp that you can buy for this, too, but I haven't been able to find it yet. So, um, maybe it'll be something kind of universal is that it helps that it's uh, banana jacks for everything. So, um, I think... Let's see, did it, can it do DC current with that clamp too? I don't remember. Um, but the capacitance, capacitance range on here I like. So you go up to 4,000 microfarad. Um, that's the, uh, let's see here. Yeah. I think that's right anyways. That's what I'm looking at. 4,000 microfarad plus or minus 20% accuracy I presume. It's quite a bit of variation. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, it, it has a, uh, yeah, it says it can measure DC current. Maybe not with the clamp, though. Anyway, so it had some nice features for a low price. So uh, I'm actually not sure that this is the one I'm going to give to my buddy, actually, because I, I do, um, I'm in need of one for my electronics desk there. And the fact that this one goes up to a higher capacitance range is good for that. Um, I have another capacitance meter, but not, uh, it's, kind of just for that so uh, this might be a good all-in-one for my bench haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet but it seemed like it was a it was a good buy one way or the other for uh, either for myself or for my buddy there so um, might take that apart take it out of the package and do a do a little video on that separately if it turns out to be interesting so uh, yeah that's where we're at for now here we got the second to last item on the Home Depot tool run here uh, it's a Klein power nut driver. Uh, it's basically a really deep 9 16th socket. Uh, it's made for running nuts up on all thread, you know, or the, the all thread six down a ways or whatever. Um, it's got a wrench assist down here to crack, crack something loose or torque something, I guess. Um, so that looks pretty handy. And again, it's lightweight. It's, it's all hollow. Uh, it's got a magnet, little magnet keeper in there. Hard to see with it in the way, I guess, but there's a new neodymium magnet in there, if that's how you pronounce it. So, yeah, that'll be. Uh, I have deep sockets, I don't usually carry them with me in the tool bag. So, uh, 916s is definitely the size I'm going to need the most. They do have 716s, half inch, and 916s, I think. And they sell everything, all of those, in a 5 and 10 inch version. I figured the longer one would be better in this case, works in more situations. So yeah, um, I said I have deep sockets, but they only go about that deep, and I don't even carry them with me. I have go-through sockets, but uh, that's kind of a bulky in comparison to this, so this really seems like a pretty slick tool, and I think it's going to uh, come in handy a lot, especially on uh, unit installs and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I got one more item uh, coming on this tool vid, and that'll then I'll uh, upload it. So.